In this question, we're asked to solve a trigonometric equation uh, given a specific interval. So what that means is that we have to find the specific solutions uh, that will solve this equation. So we have that as sine of t is equal to a half. In other words, what value can t take so that sine of t is equal to a, a, a half but t must be in this interval between 135 degrees and 270 degrees and actually I think I made a mistake that must be negative 135 degrees okay so keep it as a negative 135 and 270 degrees well the process is still exactly the same we will still find the general solution and then use the general solution in order to find uh, the specific solutions so First of all, we need to find our reference angle. Now, hopefully by now you know immediately that whenever sine of t is equal to a, a half, one of the possible inputs here can be 30 degrees. Okay, so 30 degrees is the reference angle. It's acute um, in the first quadrant. So reference angle is usually first, second, or fourth quadrant. So now we can go ahead and write down our general solution which is that either, uh, not theta, but indeed t is equal to my reference angle plus 360 times k, where k is going to be some integer, okay, or t is equal to 180 degrees minus the reference angle, okay, plus 360 degrees times k, and uh, this second one again we find because in the second quadrant it's 180 minus is where sine is positive okay so uh, if we substitute it we therefore get that I have th either it's 30 degrees plus some uh, some or a few uh, periods or it's 180 minus 30 degrees which means 150 degrees plus uh, some full rotations sorry I forgot my K there okay where K is an element of Z now that we have the two general solutions there are actually just formulas to find the specific solutions with so now what we're going to do is we're going to start with K I always start with K equal to 0 then 1 then 2 until I fall outside of my interval and then I go negative 1 negative 2 until I fall outside of my interval and do the same for the second solution 0 1 2 etc negative 1 negative 2 etc okay so let's start with 0 if in the first interval in the first um, solution we make k equal to 0 in other words we we're not adding any period at all and I just have 30 degrees. Does 30 degrees fall in there? Yes. So in other words, T is an element of, and now I'm going to write out a set of um, solutions. So it's either 30 degrees. Okay, how about if I make it 1? Then I'm adding one full rotation, 360 plus 30 degrees would give me 390 degrees, which is too much. T must be less than 270, so that... Um, it's going to be no use adding more rotations that will just make it bigger let's subtract a few rotations how about th 30 minus one rotation in other words negative 360 would give me negative 330 negative 330 is too small I'm uh, the, the smallest value I'm allowed to have is 135 negative 135 so negative one won't work uh, positive one won't work so I'm not going to go any further looking at the second one let's start with k equal to 0 if k is equal to 0 then I have 150 which is perfect 150 still falls uh, as less than 270 so 150 degrees is one solution okay how about a second solution if I'm going to add 360 obviously I'm going to be too large already then that will take me to 510 or something like that okay so that's too large let's go smaller let's subtract 360 so if I subtract 360 I get negative 210 okay so I'm doing it in my head so all I did was to replace k with negative 1 okay and if I do that I get 210 200, negative 210 is too small the smallest I'm allowed is 135 so these are my two solutions.